July 22, 1994. When news broke that a young lieutenant and his compatriots have taken over the state that morning, there was fear, confusion, and disbelief. While the rest of us have had time to process what was unfolding, for folks like Momodo Gesama, life was taking a sharp turn and fast. An otherwise uneventful day that started with a promise of an evening reunion with family ended in Dakar, Senegal, forcefully, unexpectedly. We left abruptly uh, on board the U.S. frigate Lamo County. Yeah, so we sat out uh, and then go to Senegal uh, with the advice of the U.S. ambassador. ambassador. Uh, we are. Uh, you know, advice to or they kind of deposited us in Senegal, having arranged uh, with, with, the, with the president. Then, in this episode of Migrant Stories: Tales from the Gambia Diaspora, I am joined by Mr. Momodu Kesama, former aide de camp to President Chawara, to discuss his unplanned journey from the Gambia. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kesama, for joining me today on the Migrant Stories: Tales from the Gambia Diaspora. Thank you very much for, uh, this is the first time ever, for real, you know, I've, I've never ever done, uh, I can see my nervousness, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've never ever done any interview since I left the Gambia. We try to take focus away from the prominence of Sada or the Jawara and place it upon the ordinary people like Gasama who were forced into exile with him. So by 1997, mm-hmm. after the election, and that's when I called uh, Sada I said, well, to me, I have done, I've come this far, mm-hmm. you know, sacrificed my time and effort, mm-hmm. and then uh, I would like to go to university. Join me, you must set a camera on migrant stories, tales from the Gambia diaspora, coming to you soon on Tefato TV, on Facebook, and on YouTube, on the Damara platform.